What's up, guys? So check it out. We've got a 2023 Model 3 Performance. He was running a stock uh, class in autocross, uh, but now he is going to be moving into the EVX class with a whole new set of rules. So this is going to afford him the uh, opportunity to upgrade all of his suspension components practically. So here's what he's got. He's got the Olin's Road and Track coilovers. Now the reason he had to go with these is there's a rule set that indicates you cannot change both, let's say, an upper arm, like the camber arm, and also the lower spring arm. And because of that, the Olin's Road and Track kit is one of the few kits that actually has a higher spring rate in the rear. Uh, so he opted to go with that. Uh, we would have really liked for him to use a different uh, product, but because there are limitations in the rule set, uh, which we are hopefully going to, you know, petition for, I, I think guys in the past have done that, but ideally if we can get uh, permitted to run the MPP lower billet spring arm, then that'll allow you to play with spring rates a lot. It'll really open up your opportunities to run different types of suspension systems. But as of right now, this seemed to be um, the best system that, that he wanted to run for his needs. Now, he's also got the MPP rear camber arms, the adjustable toe arms, the MPP front upper control arm. He's got the MPP rotors, two-piece rotors. He's got some extended studs, because we're gonna play with his wheel fitment with a variety of different spacer sizes. And he's got the endless EX90 brake pads. So we're gonna get all of these on the car. We're gonna start dialing it in. And as he progresses through the season, we'll be able to see how he does and, and make incremental adjustments as he goes. So let's get it on the car. All right, guys, so this EVX car is all done. It's got the Olin's Road and Tracks on it, the revised version. So everything is done and in here. We use their baseline measurements, but again, we're running max camera on this. So he's got like three degrees of camera in the front, slightly less in the rear. And in doing so, we had to actually raise the front because it had a little bit of a forward rake. It wasn't too far off of their target heights, but it was uh, a little bit too low. So we actually adjusted the front end, brought it up. We, we have already done a preliminary alignment, but now we're gonna do a second alignment. In any case, we decided to do a brake stiffness test. Uh, we had already flushed the brakes out, you know, gosh, a couple months ago, back in, yeah, probably about four months ago. Uh, but he's run 20 autocross events since then, and we noticed that his brake stiffness test came in a little bit low. So it was like in the 40-ish something bar. Um, so we went ahead and we already put new, new pads in it, but we decided to do new brake lines. So we got Aspira brake lines in here, the carbon smoke ones, check that out. He's got his Olin's Road and Tracks in here. Those are all in. He's got his MPP rear camber arm, MPP toe arm. He's got his endless EX90 brake pads. But yeah, now after we bled and fleshed out his brakes, he's got 66. We bumped it up to 66 bar. So I'm sure that pedal feels way, way better. So check out the front. Oh, we check it out. Extended studs. We got the extended studs on there. We got our Spiro spacers on there. Just got some 20 mil spacers on there. Uh, he'll play with uh, his different wheel setups. He's got a few different wheels for autocross, so he'll do that when he gets back home. Uh, but we've given him a, a huge array of spacers, everything from 5, 10, 15, 17, and 20s. So he's got, he's got the whole thing. But yeah, we've got his MVP front upper control arm. We've relocated his wheel speed sensor. This is really important. So we've done this. We've got slack on this side, slack on this side. So that way we won't burn through it because if you run it up the... Uh, up the upper control arm and down the upright. Even though you zip tie over here, we've still had some issues on really wide setups where it'll rub through the wheel speed sensor right up here. So that's all done. MVP two-piece rotors. Man, this car has come together. It looks really beautiful. We're gonna get the wheels on it. We're gonna finish off the alignment and we're gonna send them back home. All right, check it out. Wheels are on, car is done. He's got about a 25 mil drop, so one inch drop from factory. Two fingers in the front, two fingers in the back. Car's really, really Level actually. And yeah, he's done, man. Three degrees of camera in the front, two in the back. MPP front upper control arms, MPP rear camera arms, rear toe arms, Olin's Road and Track coilovers, endless EX90 brake pads, the Spear brake lines, MPP rotors, and he already got the MPP brake brace last time. Um, what else? Got spacers, extended studs. I mean, this thing's ready to go autocross. So good luck to you at EVX. We hope you guys kick butt and thanks for thanks for watching us guys don't forget to like subscribe and share if you guys want any of these products we'll put links in the description below we'll see you on the next one